Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how I pack for a day at Disneyland and how I organize it all in my stroller. Before I even begin to show you what I pack for Disney, I just wanted to note that there is a new regulation that will take effect May 1st, 2019 that Disney has placed on the size of strollers. So new dimensions, the stroller can only be 31 inches wide and 52 inches deep. So just take note of that new restriction and make sure that your stroller fits within those guidelines. Okay, so here's an overview of everything that I bring with us on a park day. And I will show you what goes in each bag and where I put everything inside the stroller. Okay, so I'm going to start with the bottom of the stroller first. So on one side in the basket, I keep all of our sweaters and hoodies for later in the night when it gets cool. On the other basket, I always have a blanket for uh, saving our spots in the parade. The cast members do let you use a blanket as long as somebody is there to man it. Uh, this is just an airplane blanket and it's really great because it's so thin so I can easily keep that in the stroller. With that, I have a bag of ponchos. So for rain, yes, but also for the water rides like Splash Mountain or Grizzly River Run, I don't want to get soaked. So I always bring a bag of ponchos. I just buy them at the dollar store and uh, bring them in a Ziploc to put them back in after they're wet. So that also goes in the bottom. Okay, so next is the side saddle bag that I've got here. I use it to store all of our mini ears. So when we don't want to wear them, we can just take them off and they just keep in here, but they're still easily accessible. Okay, next I have diaper bag. We don't actually have any kids in diapers anymore, but I still always bring a bag. This actually was one of those free diaper bags, um, but it's perfect because it's got a super long handle and I never cared if it was to get dirty or wrecked. And so that I hang on the back of the stroller. Inside the diaper bag, I keep things like wipes. I always have Kleenex sanitary wipes, hand sanitizer, and then I also keep sunscreen, I keep sunglasses, I keep a bag of snacks in here, I keep a little mini first aid kit, so I have some polysporin, Tylenol, um, some kids Tylenol, and then just a lot of band-aids. And also, which I find super useful, um, blister pads, just in case somebody uh, gets one from all the walking. I always keep some of those in there. So that goes in the bag. And then I keep the kids' water. These are the thermos insulated bottles, so they keep really cold. So I don't worry about keeping them in a cooler. I just fill those and they stay good all day. So I put those in there so they can access them. And then finally, in that bag, I always have some sort of an activity for the kids. So glow sticks are usually a great hit, again, just at the dollar store. Um, so if we're waiting for a nighttime show, Fantasmic or a parade, World of Color, um, I take out the glow sticks and that occupies them for a little while. So I'll keep that in the bag. Um, I do bring a few options just in case. Um, I don't keep them all every day, but just rotate them through, something like a card game. Uh, bubbles are easy, a little coloring pack and the kids are getting antsy, then something to do. Okay, next I've got my cooler bag. So this is a collapsible cooler bag, so it's easy to transport in our luggage, but I bring that and I just hang it over the side. Now Disney has just introduced new rules as of May 1st uh, for the cooler, no loose ice. So I always have Ziplocs with me and fill the Ziploc with ice at your hotel, and then you can put that inside the cooler, but you cannot have just loose ice hanging around. 
Okay, finally is our backpack. We bring a backpack so that we can easily take it off the stroller when we want to get in line or go into a restaurant and the stroller can't come with us. So this holds our valuables. So in here, I keep all our park tickets. It's separate from my wallet. It's just got park tickets and sometimes the fast pass reminders. And that way we can keep them all safe. So that always comes with us. My phone would be in here. Our cameras would be in here. I always bring a portable charger to the park. Especially if you're taking a lot of pictures or videos, you are gonna go through your battery quickly. So I make sure to have these. Disney does have charging stations throughout the park. So you can purchase a fuel rod, they call them, and um, recharge through that. So make sure you bring your cord, at least if you're gonna do it that way. And then, for us, our autograph books are priceless, so those stay in the valuables bag as well. And I always have a few extra pens just in case for those. So this bag hangs on the stroller, but when we leave our stroller, everything else stays except this bag. So just a couple final notes. Strollers are everywhere in Disneyland. Uh, so make sure you have something that distinguishes it from the rest, whether you tie something from the handle, um, I do have like a little keychain, just something that makes it clear uh, that it's yours and somebody doesn't accidentally take it. Along with that, uh, when you go on a ride at Disneyland, strollers cannot come into the lineup, so you do have to park it. There are designated stroller parking areas throughout the park, usually clearly marked, if not, you'll see strollers lined up along the railing. Also, just to be aware, cast members can and will move your strollers at times. So if they're setting up for a parade and areas become too congested, a character's gonna be coming through, they may see a need to move your stroller. So don't panic if you come off of a ride and your stroller is missing. It's usually not far. Check around the general area and you should see it. So hopefully showing you what I pack for a day at Disney and how I organize my stroller was helpful to you and gave you some tips that will make your day more enjoyable when you visit the Disney parks.